nation's taken to the streets, calling for you to stand down. Your deputies have defected, the army has switched sides and the international community is breathing down your neck. Time is against him. Crisis? What crisis? All you need is a speech. A masterpiece of oratory that will blind everyone with the light from your shiny, omnipotent star. Because when the going gets tough, the tough ramble wildly for three hours on state TV. Step one, wave the flag. You've brought the country to its knees, but people need to understand. You're doing it out of love for the magnificent land in which you were born. I have lived for this nation. It will remain a dear, beloved homeland. I will not separate from the soil until I'm buried underneath. Step two, throw sticks and stones. The thousands of peaceful protesters bravely seeking a new dawn, they're all treacherous scum. Ram this point home using every playground insult under the sun. Call them vermin. Where were you, you rats? Uh, uh, greasy rats and cats. Call them criminals. Now they besieged the central bank and they want to loot. Call them junkie criminal vermin. Youth who were given hallucination uh, tablets, uh, raiding police stations here and there like rats. Step three, play God. Ordinary mortals sometimes have ideas above their station. You, on the other hand, are the work of divine intervention. Boast like crazy and refer to yourself in the third person. The current moment is not relating to my personality, not to Hosni Mubarak. Ahmad Gaddafi is not the president, he is a leader of a revolution. Is history, resistance, freedom, victory, revolution. This is an admission that from the biggest power, that Muhammad Gaddafi is not the president, is not a normal person. Step four, feign compassion. Peaceful protesters, innocent bystanders, defenseless children, they've all been gunned down on your orders. Make nice and shed a tear. The King of Bahrain made a rare televised speech during which he apologised for the deaths. Step five, be frightening. Two hours in and the audience will be getting bored. Time to shift it up a gear with a scare story. It's an evil plot led by mysterious forces. You don't need any evidence to back the story up. They'll just have to trust you. Syria is now actually facing a very great conspiracy linked to several countries. Plot that, that are being hatched against our country. Our enemies are doing on a daily basis to attack and sabotage the stability of Syria. And remember, chin forward, shoulders back and wave your hands like crazy. If none of that works, Toss the UN Charter over your shoulder and run.